I often get asked why I have so much admiration for WWE NXT, and it's honestly quite simple. But the real question is, how does NXT continue to dominate in this current generation of pro wrestling? Because there's a lot of things that companies can learn from WWE NXT, and it's something that Shawn Michaels does extremely well. And it's one of the biggest things that I talk about every time I talk about pro wrestling. It's not the ability to tell storylines or have storylines. It's not the ability to have good wrestling matches or great wrestling matches. It's the ability to do a little bit of everything to satisfy every kind of viewer. In WWE WWE NXT is the one show every single week where they do this from beginning to end and they do it every single week. And the key word that I'm using here is consistency. WWE NXT does something for everybody. Now, I get it. People have seen NXT change. Maybe you weren't a fan of NXT in 2014 to 2018. Maybe you really loved NXT and what it became in 2019 and 2020 and 2021. But the reality is WWE NXT in 2024 takes a little bit from both of those eras. And I think that's actually really important. Now, I look at WWE as a juggernaut in the world of entertainment. And when it comes to mainstream stuff, you typically see WWE's main roster dealing with more celebrities and more of the mainstream press and everything like that. And that's because WWE NXT is kind of like it's in its own little bubble. And I don't think people realize how important it is that WWE has a product like that because WWE NXT does differentiate from the main roster because they are in their own little bubble. And yes, there is crossover between NXT and the main roster, but for the most part, NXT is its own thing. It has its own identity. Now, people will often ask me, why do I get so upset with Tony Khan and the way that he handles Ring of Honor? And that's because Ring of Honor, in my opinion, doesn't have an identity. And I'm not making this video to shit on AEW, but I think it's really important for AEW and TNA and all of these other companies to look at their identity and tell the world what their identity is, but then also showcase it consistently every single week. And this is something that WWE NXT continues to do. And what's actually really strange is I feel like we're kind of at a tipping point where NXT is about to evolve into something even bigger than we could have ever imagined because they have laid the groundwork with NXT 2.0. Now I get it. NXT 2.0 wasn't a big thing for people uh, when it came to the transition, right? And I, I do agree. I think WWE kind of screwed up with the transition from going black and gold to NXT 2.0. I felt like it was kind of a weird transition in the way that they actually revealed it and did it. But when you look at the groundwork that was laid out, WWE has been building a structure and now that structure is blossoming into something even bigger. And I think that is what makes me so intrigued by the NXT product. Now, there's a couple things that NXT does extremely well with. So let's just talk about it. WWE NXT has the tendency to put on some really good PLEs. Even if you don't watch the weekly television, I've gathered enough opinions from social media, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff where people will tune into the PLEs because there is always some sort of surprise form factor that happens in NXT PLEs. That's huge. Um, and I like the fact that consistently their PLEs seem to be a big deal. It seems like that's the opportunity for people to go out there and actually wrestle and actually be given time to do things um, and let their stories play out in a nice formulaic way. I also think what NXT has done incredibly well with is balancing out their roster. One of the biggest struggles that NXT currently has right now is the main event scene, which is actually really interesting. But the reason why this is the case is because some of their top stars had left NXT to go to the main roster. Now WWE brings in Sean Spears and they bring in Ethan Page and they have a crop of talent being used. But if you look at how well they've balanced out their roster, the North American Championship pitcher for the men and women are extremely stacked. The mid card for both men and women in general is incredibly stacked. And the tag team division is incredibly stacked. Yes, there is room for improvement in every single area because that's just no such thing as perfection. But in reality, WWE has a stacked mid card. They have a stacked women's division, uh, women's mid card, men's mid card. The main event scene is the one thing where it's like, okay, they have some great talent, Trick Williams, Pete Dunn, Ethan Page. Now they're utilizing TNA, um, and I like that. 
But I feel like a lot of the talk in NXT is actually the women leading the brand. And I think that's actually kind of nice for a change. Uh, Julia comes in at no mercy and the aura and the presence and everything about that face-to-face -face encounter with Roxanne screams big deal. And in 2024, I think that's just like massive. Like you needed, like it's September 2nd, 2024. We're not going into WrestleMania season. We're not going into some massive pay-per-view. This is just the middle of the year type of thing. And they already have a massive storyline being worked on and no punches were thrown, no physical activity. Like it was just stare down. And I think it's actually kind of unique that in a way the men's main event scene in a way, it seems like it's taking a step back to elevate other areas of the show. And again, when I talk about consistency, that's why this is so important that companies really balance out their rosters and they do push all of the divisions and all of the different talent because when it's more balanced, it never seems like one thing is bigger than the other. It just seems like everything in its own spot, time slot, feels important and i think that's one thing that people just don't understand but if i'm critiquing wrestling like and, and trust me wwe's main roster suffers from this especially when you look at the bloodline you could watch a great episode of smackdown and everything will be relatively cool but nothing will ever feel more important than the bloodline and i don't feel like nxt has that issue i feel like everything feels important on its own and they're consistently doing that no matter what examples I give you, it all ties back to they're doing something right and they're doing it consistently. Um, and I think that's just a really good thing for NXT. What is NXT going to look like a year from now or two years from now? Honestly, I do predict that NXT is going to be doing more arena shows than ever. I do not see them being in the Performance Center long term. It is very clear that WWE NXT is able to sell tickets. It is very clear that WWE NXT has a little bit of leverage to sell tickets because you do have the ability to collaborate with the main roster. But having the ability to collaborate with the main roster or another organization like TNA gives you a little bit more benefit because it incentivizes fans to show up. So I'm looking at WWE NXT long term as... Yeah, it did reach a little sticky point with NXT 2.0 and the way they transitioned, but they laid the groundwork. So all of this time that goes by, eventually it could become something bigger. And I think we are going to get to a point where NXT will be bigger. And I think that would be a fantastic thing for wrestling. And to be honest, the only reason why I'm even talking about this is because I feel like so much emphasis in pro wrestling has been put on AEW Dynamite, WWE Raw, WWE SmackDown, but people forget with AEW and WWE, they do have access to Ring of Honor. They do have access to NXT and you can actually make money from those brands and you could actually do big things with those brands. And I think that's actually something we shouldn't be forgetting because if you utilize those brands correctly, long term, we're talking long, long term, but the long term of your business is huge. Look at Braun Breaker and all these guys that came from NXT who are now becoming positioned uh, at a spot on the main roster where you can just tell long term they're going to have longevity. That's huge. And that's what you need. you got to create stars. NXT is doing that, but they're doing it across all facets of their brand. That's massive. That's huge. That's how NXT continues to dominate. And I don't think it will ever slow down.